Hello, are you looking to fill some dead space like the corner of this room in our kitchen? Maybe get some seats or a bench in there like this. And even better, turn that bench into some useful storage. Plus, do it extremely budget friendly. Well, welcome back to part two of my L-shaped bench project. <laughs> this is sort of how it's looking now, but in the last video, I showed how I built this L-shaped bench using wooden stud work to fill the corner of our kitchen. There's a link down in the description if you're interested in that. But it's now part two on the Dad Delivers vlog where I try something new every day to make my family happy. You know how hard that is, but I think I'm making everyone happy with this corner bench. This is more like one of my DIY vlogs, but I kind of left that video unfinished because as you can see I've got the sides not covered up so if we were to use it for storage everything would sort of fall out the edges so today this morning I went to my favorite place on earth not really somewhere that I seem to be going a lot it was another DIY superstore this one happened to be B&Q and I wanted to find some plywood I thought if I got some thick plywood I could use that to put the sides on it's one of these and I think I found my perfect piece of wood but as you can see it is absolutely massive I couldn't get that into the car even if I tried and I decided to use their cutting service. So I planned it all out. I've got all my dimensions on my bit of paper. But first I had to get the right piece of wood. Now I saw lots of reviews online saying this wood falls apart, it's warped. But actually I thought it looked great. I just knew that the top two sheets were warped. They looked really bent. So I had to get a sheet from underneath. I think on the footage here, you can see me getting the sheet that's three sheets down. That looks fairly new but the only way I could get it out was by doing that magic trick you know where they pull the tablecloth off the table and leave everything standing well I thought if I whipped out this giant sheet of plywood fast enough I'd be, be able to get it out but I think the footage shows quite clearly that that wasn't the best plan but still I tried I kept pulling tugging finally after a lot of jimmying and walking around this this truck that was left in front of it I gave it one last push, managed to get it out. So now I can get it over to the cutting service area. Okay, I've got the wood, time to get it cut now. Just over here. And this is the cutting area. I don't like filming people when they're at work. Uh, it's bad enough when I do it on myself, <laughs> let alone dragging other people into it. But I just wanted to show you sort of how it works. So I've got it cut, looks perfect, look at it. Just what I wanted, one of those. We go to the checkout now. I took my dad along, we went shopping as well, so we loaded it all up into the back of the car, got the plywood back to the house. Now I won't need all of these bits because some of these bits are destined for the other corner of the room. I, I'm gonna do some shelves for the TV area. That's gonna be on, a, on the next video. Just check with the spirit level. Spot on. It's but first I need to use these ones. These planks here that they very kindly cut up. I hope I've got the measurements right. I've not checked it yet. I thought I'd do it on camera and share, share the joy with you. But let me show you the basic idea. I'm gonna, hopefully, if I've got the measurements right, it should slot into there. So all I need to do is cut the right lengths. But let's, let's just slide it in just to see. Please work, please work. Oh, it's really tight. Oh, that's really snug. Is it gonna work? Oh, yeah. Does it go in? It does, look at that. <gasps> Great. So all I need to do now is to cut these to length and then figure out a way to secure them, screw them in somehow from behind. The, the wall isn't true, so that's not a true L shape, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna have some gaps. That gap there isn't my dodgy measurements. That is literally how the wall meets. It kind of comes out a bit. I managed to get four pieces cut from the board. I can only use one side because it's got this printing on it and that one's a bit scratched. I think I did that in the car. This one has a load of filler in it. This one looks okay and this one looks okay. 
whoa, I'm gonna use these two for the big parts, the long parts on the bench. It's the 1st of August, it's the middle of summer and it has just started raining. So I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. One of them, I don't have to cut at all. I'm just gonna run that the whole length. So if I can choose that one, I think I'm going to, <gasps> it's a hard choice. I think I'm gonna keep this one. So we'll get that out of the rain, which means I need to make this one 79.2 centimeters long. I really do not want to mark these pieces of wood, so I'm laying out the dog blanket on our IKEA Siglaro table just to keep it scratch free. I know I should probably varnish it and uh, protect it. I'll probably do that later on, but let's just cut it to length now. I'm using my jigsaw and I'm trying to guide it as straight as possible, which is a bit tricky in the drizzle, but I'm sure I can get it through there. Casper's got his friend over. And now I'm going to cut this piece into smaller pieces. These will go onto the sides, onto the ends of the L-shaped bench to stop all my stuff falling out. I'm on a bit of a wing and a prayer with these measurements because I've got to keep the jigsaw straight. I'm hoping the chair would catch that. <laughs> Let's go and get these onto the bench. So, <clears throat> I've put one loose on ready. I want this to go on the end here. Oh, yes. Oh, that is really satisfying. I think that looks really good. And then I'll push this one up a bit so that it's flush. There, like that. Completely flush. I just need to work out a way now to fix these to the bench so they don't fall off. <laughs> To permanently fix the sides onto the frames of the benches, I'm using these L-shaped metal brackets. And I can't help feeling like this isn't the best or the prettiest way of fixing them on. It is really difficult finding places to, to screw and I can't get my screwdriver into these tiny places. So I've got to find the right brackets and the right screwdrivers to try and get in here. I've got a bit of a gap here, but it's a bit unavoidable. I think that's the closest I can get. And when the lids are on, let's put the lids on. There, finally, <laughs> got sides on. And, and, oh, I could do this. Put it away and never see it again. <laughs> I'm calling this a dad delivers success. <laughs> High five. Thank you so much for the thumbs up and the subscribes. I really appreciate it. It really helps me to keep these videos going. Videos like this that YouTube knows that you're going to love next. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click in his face. Thanks. Bye. All right. This is going to be the proper one, Mike.